prove that if x is a positive real number, then there exists a positive integer n such that 1 over n is less than x, which is less than n. Proof. Before we do this problem, we have to actually um, figure it out. So let's go to the side. I can't spell scratch work. <laughs> let's go to the side and do the scratch work or whatever that is. So um, to do this problem, we have to use something called the Archimedean Principle. It basically says that given a number, we can find a positive integer which is bigger. Okay. Um, so we need to create this inequality. So the natural thing to do is to start with x. So because x is an element in the set of real numbers, by the Archimedean principle, we should come up with a natural number n, which is bigger than x. So we can do that. And if you write this backwards, uh, if you read it right to left, it says x less than n. So that takes care of the first condition. Now we need to come up with 1 over n less than x. Okay, so I'm using the same n here. Uh, we won't be able to do that in the proof, but let's solve this for n. So if you multiply both sides by n, we get 1 less than xn. And then dividing by x, right, x is positive, so the inequality sign won't switch. We have 1 over x less than n. Okay, or, reading it backwards, n bigger than 1 over x. So we need to use the Archimedean property on 1 over x. So 1 over x is a real number. So by the Archimedean property, there exists a positive integer, which we can call, say, m, which is bigger than 1 over x. And again, doing the same thing we just did, that would give us... Um, Let's see, multiplying by x and dividing by m would give us x bigger than 1 over m. And so we have 1 over m is less than x, which is less than n. So we have this here. So what we'll do now is we need to get the same number here. So what we'll do is we'll take the maximum of these two numbers and things should work out. Why the maximum? I'll explain in the proof. Uh, why the maximum should work. Let's go ahead and, and start writing our proof and we have to do this all over again in the proof anyway. So, so it says prove that if x is a positive real number. So that's our hypothesis. So we start by writing down suppose x is a positive real number. So positive real number. And the goal is to create uh, this inequality over here. All right, so now we can use the Archimedean uh, property uh, on x. So since x is a real number, so since x is an element in the set of real numbers, by the Archimedean property, or Archimedean principle, I'll say by the AP, there exists... So I'll use a backwards e for there exists. And I don't want to use n or m. I'm going to use a different letter because I want n to be my final letter. So I'm going to use n1. n1 in the set of natural numbers such that n1 is bigger than x. So this means that x is less than n1. And as we figured out in our scratch work, in order to come up with this, which is not the final answer, um, but it's close to it, we need to use 1 over x. So note, x is positive, so 1 over x makes sense, right? It's a real number. It asked, 1 over x is in the set of real numbers. So by the Archimedean principle, so by the AP, there exists a natural number, possibly a different one. We cannot guarantee it's the same one. So therefore, we must use a different symbol. So n sub 2 in the set of natural numbers such that n sub 2 is greater than the number 1 over x. And again, multiplying by x and dividing by n2, 
This would imply that x is bigger than 1 over n2, or rather 1 over n2 is less than x, right? Reading it backwards, which is less than n1. So we're here. This is where we were in the scratch work, and I said I would explain uh, what to do now. So the idea is to take the maximum of these two. So we're going to set lowercase n to be equal to the maximum of n2 and n1. And let me explain why this will work. So first of all, um, if n1, let me come over here, this is scratch, this is not part of the proof, so scratch. So n1 is going to be less than or equal to capital N. So I guess I can mention that in the proof. So note, x is less than n1, which is less than or equal to lowercase n, because um, n is the maximum of n1, n2. Okay, so why did we use the maximum even though we have 1 over n2? That's the confusing part. Let me write this backwards. x is bigger than 1 over n2, right? This is a fraction. So if x is bigger than 1 over n2, it's going to be bigger than 1 over any number, anything bigger than n2, right? So like, let's say x is bigger than 1 half. Well, if it's bigger than 1 half, it's certainly bigger than 1 over 99. And 99 is bigger than 2. So that's why taking any number bigger than n2 also works. But that's not enough. Let's justify it in the problem. So note, n is also less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, rather, uh, n2, right? Because n is the maximum of these two. So that means that 1 over n2 is greater than or equal to 1 over n. Right? Writing this backwards, this says that 1 over n is less than or equal to, right, reading it backwards, 1 over n2, which is less than x, which is less than n1, which is less than or equal to n. That, my friends, is beautiful. So this means that 1 over n Take the, take the strongest inequality, take the strong one, less than x, which is less than n. And that, whoops, and that completes the proof, right? So we have 1 over n less than x, which is less than n. Let me write it again so it's a little more clear. 1 over n less than x less than n. And that, and that finishes the proof. So um, I kind of figured it out a little bit on the spot, so it wasn't maybe the cleanest argument uh, or the cleanest explanation, but it was a correct one, and hopefully by doing it this way, by not having it like all prepared out and you know showing you how I figure it out, hopefully you can learn uh, how to write proofs as well. Um, it's hard, and the thought process is difficult, um, so uh, I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.